I'm going to spotlight right now one of the artists associated with the Florida Keys at Council of the Arts. I'll be talking with the executive director later on in the show. Now, along with being associated with that organization, she's also associated with the studios of Key West and Lucky Street Gallery. Now, I am very personally fascinated by her work. I think it's beautiful and very intriguing. You can see some of her pieces behind me right now. Deborah, thank you for being with me on the show today. Thank you for <laughs> inviting me. Well, it's wonderful having you here, and I mean it, Deborah. I love, I love your work. And let's talk about what all your work includes. The work that I'm doing right now, I take lots of photographic images mm -hmm. that I combine together to create uh, specific constructions. Mm -hmm. um, and the concept behind the work is about the passage of time and I use natural images, plant forms, and document those over time as they um, start out budding and bright and green and as they decline and get a little brown and, and try to look for the beauty in all the phases mm -hmm. of the process. How did you discover that you had a talent for doing this, Deborah? Well, um, you know, it's not even so much that you discover you have a talent, it's mm -hmm. that you just have to do yeah. what it is that um, you have a need for. And I observe things that are growing every day, all the time. I'm walking my dog and I see things in transition. I mean, this is a perfect place for that mm -hmm. because things are growing all year round. They're either growing or ungrowing. And um, I, just, I just started working, and um, it's evolved. It's really evolved. I was, in college, a history major, mm -hmm. and um, the sense of history and an awareness of a passage of time is really something that uh, is important to me, mm -hmm. and it's become increasingly important mm -hmm. over time. Let's talk about some of the pieces that our viewers can see behind us right now, Deborah. Tell me the message in these. Well, um, the piece that you're looking at right now is called Texas Counting, and quickly you could see that my feet are in the first ballet position, and, mm -hmm. oh, and the <laughs> next one is also from the Texas Counting series, and that's two, and um, my feet are somewhere, but you can't see them behind the chairs. But the, I combined imagery from nature using the seed pods that I actually found in a trash can one day walking the dog. Mm -hmm. And um, I was so impressed with their beauty, I knew I had to do something with them. I took them to my studio when I was at Studios Key West, mm -hmm. and I put them on the floor and I started doing the ballet positions in conjunction with them. I, who knows how those things come <laughs> together? I really right. don't know how it evolved. It just mm -hmm was serendipitous and it happened yeah it just happens and um, but, but it's not automatic right. it takes, it takes there's time. a lot of process mm -hmm. involved what do you hope that people gain from looking at your work from buying your work what, what do you want them well to have you mentioned about beauty I, th I have always had a strong desire to produce something that has a feeling of beauty of course mm -hmm. that the idea of beauty is different for everybody. Right. But on a deeper level, uh, I also want people to have an increased awareness of um, how fragile our life process is. Mm -hmm. um, and that there is a cycle of um, growth and, and decline. And then looking at plants, the wonder of plants is that there's always a rebirth cycle. Mm -hmm. So things are constantly in transition mm -hmm. as opposed to, well, depending on your view of life and death, I guess, right. but um, people do die. <laughs> I like your view of it. Though. Okay, <laughs> and how you look at things. Rebirth, that's wonderful. Deborah, I understand that you recently received an award thanks to the Council of the Arts. This was a very impressive award that you received. Thank you. I was so excited and mm -hmm. thrilled when I got that award. I had tried several times. I had applied several times. And uh, it just clicked this mm -hmm. time. And it's, the award is great because it's an, it's an honor. Uh, it's a verification of your value of your work. Mm -hmm. And um, you have 
in addition to receiving a very nice check, mm -hmm. um, you have the opportunity to be in a show with all the other winners from South Florida, and that mm -hmm. happened at the Hollywood Art and Culture Center. Mm -hmm. I, it was wonderful opportunity. Mm -hmm. and, and, <laughs> and what was the award exactly called, Deborah? The South Florida Cultural Consortium Fellowship Award. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah, right. what are you working on right now? I'm getting ready for two shows, one mm -hmm. in the spring at Lucky Street, mm -hmm. that's in March, and another one at the Deering Estate in Miami, and that's going to happen in September. And mm -hmm. um, I'm really involved with the notion of how ephemeral things are, and mm -hmm. photographing actually dried flowers mm -hmm. that I've purchased, and um, combining them with live flowers. and looking at the differences and how striking the feeling is. I'm excited to see it. Oh, I'm excited <laughs> to you. see your shows. And of course, for more information on Deborah, you can check out her website. It's located on the bottom of the screen. If you have any questions or anything, shoot her an email. Great. So, Deborah, thank you for being on the show with thank me Thank you, Jenna. I appreciate it. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after this. <laughs>